think everybody has heard of geometry, but has anyone heard of coordinate geometry? That's where we check out the properties of geometric figures using the coordinate plane. You know, the x and y axis, the quadrants, ordered pairs, all that good stuff. Today we'll review concepts from algebra that you're going to need when you start using coordinate geometry. In this case, I'm talking about the distance formula. If you need the distance between two points, or the length of a segment, same thing, you'll need the distance formula. Remember how to use the Pythagorean theorem? If you need the length of the hypotenuse, you take one leg length and square it. Then you take the other leg and square it. Add them together, and then take the square root. Okay, now remember rise and run from our slope calculation? Think of the distance formula as being this. What? That's not the way you've seen it written before? Okay, you've probably seen it as this. But they're both really saying exactly the same thing. Take your choice. So let's do the next problem together to find the length of the segment shown. Distance equals the square root of 3 minus negative 2 squared plus 4 minus 6 squared. This simplifies to distance equals the square root of 5 squared plus negative 2 squared or the square root of 25 plus 4. So distance in this case is the square root of 29. So, in a nutshell, there are times you need coordinate geometry to check out the properties of geometric figures. But before you can use coordinate geometry, you've really got to understand the distance formula. And once you really understand the distance formula, you're well on your way to understanding coordinate geometry. Distance formula. There you go.